The French ambassador to Ghana has been doing the most. Unfortunately, she will be saying goodbye to us pretty soon. But she wants to assist Ghanaians to actually, you know, solve a very serious issue when it comes to the music industry. And I'm talking about the issue of royalties here in Ghana. And uh, she's been talking about what she can do to ensure that uh, the royalties situation in Ghana is solved. And uh, French ambassador Anne Sophie has been in the news for almost every single reason out there. And uh, of course, the rest Recently, uh, the event she put together at, uh, you know, uh, France, which saw a lot, a lot of Ghanaian musicians and people in, in, in France turning out and having a good time with Ghanaian musicians. Now she's decided to turn her attention to Gamero and she wants to help solve the situation over there. Now, the creative arts players, once again, and musicians have actually bitterly complained about this situation for a very long time. Now, in an exclusive interview, the uh, woman who's been doing everything possible to ensure Ghanaian music get out of Ghana says that as part of uh, her duties, she wants to ensure that the uh, you know royalties uh, distribution is properly done here in Ghana. And she spoke on, about this on uh, uh, Beku Santana's program and says, according to her, there is a publisher in the country, uh, in a country which is France, uh, which collects uh, one on the uh, one on the other hand all the royalties from any institution, shops, radio, digital platform that provides and displays music. On the other hand, all the artists also registered their songs and the list of people who have contributed to creating that song. Uh, beat makers, lyrics and everything. And uh, they make sure that people get the royalties for the music when it's displayed and proportionally as it is displayed. So she's going to ensure that Gamro and this French publisher work in tandem uh, to, in the first place, try and get royalties from digital platforms so it will go through. It's quite a long-term project. It's not done overnight, but she has actually uh, said that she's going to make sure this comes to fruition. So we're hoping that, you know, it will be able to be resolved so that uh, hopefully we get to enjoy the very best of what Ghanaian musicians have been putting together and all of that. So there's